You might call it a clash of the mayors. Former Mayor Jake Godbold taking shots at JEA and current Mayor Lenny Curry. Godbold says it's time to end the talk of a JEA sale once and for all, while Mayor Curry is saying backing off the talks is wrong for Jacksonville. In the end, Curry says voters will decide if JEA would be sold. And this all came to a head at a city council meeting looking at the future of JEA. News for Jacks reporter Jim Piggott was there and joins us now live from downtown where he talked to both Curry and Godbold. You know, that's right, Kent. The first shot, though, was fired this morning. That's when the Times Union published this open letter from former Mayor Jake Godbold saying enough is enough. It's time to end the talks of selling JEA. As Jake Godbold was preparing to talk to the city council members who were meeting to discuss the future of JEA, we had a chance to talk to him beforehand. Godbold believes the city council should step in right now and kill the JEA discussions before a vote on a sale even takes place. We could stop it here today. The council could stop it. And we could get on with running the JEA proper. In the ad, Godbold calls out JEA leadership with words like arrogant, ignorant, and corrupt. He wants the council to put a stop to the talks now. Godbold says Mayor Curry is behind all of the efforts to sell JEA. There's no doubt about that. It started then, and that's what that letter said. There's no secret to that. And there's no secret why they want that, is to get the money. You know, Jim, you've been around a long time. They say follow the money. That's what it's all about. He wasn't scheduled, but Mayor Curry addressed the council committee as well. We must talk about it. We must make sure the people are informed. And if we arrive at a decision, it'll go to the voters. As for Godbolt's ad, Curry says everyone's entitled to their own opinion. He says he's spoken to many people who want to see the JEA discussions continue. You say you have the pulse of the community. When I talk to people and polls that we've done, they don't want this at all. So why even go ahead with this? Jim, it's okay for people. The, 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 people aren't saying they don't want to have the conversation. If you go ask somebody whether or not they're for or against a sale, many probably do say no. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't have the conversation. And if the elected leadership in this city determines that that is the best way forward, we don't know if they will, in the end, the voters get to say. So if the answer is no, they'll say no. You know, and since this ad really did blast Aaron Zahn, the CEO of JEA, I did try reaching out to him today, but a spokeswoman for JEA basically said they understand Gobbled's concerns and wished he would have talked to them first. We're live at City Hall, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Jim. And JEA announced changes today in the way that they're going to be looking at the nine companies interested in buying the utility. As we previously reported, the state's ethics commission has been asked to investigate whether those involved in those negotiations could actually benefit from a sale. So, if so, it could be a conflict of interest. Well, that team includes JEA's chief operating officer, Melissa Dykes. JEA, along with the mayor's office today, removed Dykes and three others from the team looking at the bids submitted earlier this year. They have been replaced with other city employees not affiliated with the utility, including the deputy chief administrative officer for the mayor, Stephanie Birch. The city's top lawyer is saying that the request for an opinion from the state's ethics commission is now unnecessary, as there's no question the city employees named as negotiators have no conflicts.